Hi, my name's Alex. I'm from Audacious North. I'm part of the online Alpha team and in-person Alpha at North. And we're continuing the theme of favourite Bible characters. And mine is John the Baptist because he was tenacious, audacious, fearless and yet humble. And he took the job that God had given him to do seriously and was totally committed to it. And in Matthew 3, verse 1 to 2, it says, In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And verse 10 to 11 says, And even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I indeed baptise with water unto repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptise you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Now, I'd just become a Christian when I read this at age 16, and I realised that to become a Christian, to be a Christian, I needed to live a life of no compromise, totally surrendered to God. And I started going to church, and I was in the youth group, um, and I went on a youth camp, and I was filled with the Holy Spirit. And I understood what John the Baptist meant about being filled with the Holy Spirit and fire, because it's like a light had been switched on. And I had this overwhelming love for God, and I knew that he loved me. So I came home from youth camp and I told my mum, who wasn't a Christian, that I'd been filled with the Holy Spirit, and she went absolutely ballistic. She screamed and shouted at me and saying that I'd been brainwashed, that I joined a cult, that I wasn't allowed to go to church till I was 21. And she said it was just a, a phase that I was going through and I'd grow out of it by then. And my mum was fearsome and I knew she meant it. I wasn't allowed to see my Christian friends. She ripped up my Bible and destroyed my Christian music and tapes and books. I rang my youth leader and he was really upset for me but he said I had to obey my mum because that's one of the commandments in the bible and I was devastated it wasn't what I wanted to hear but I knew he was right he offered to speak to my mum but she refused I was terrified of losing my faith in God I felt so isolated and alone and I was really confused why would God let this happen I just kept crying out to him what are you doing I kept saying why 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 I thought he'd abandoned me but actually, although it was one of the hardest experiences of my life, it turned out to be so good because um, at the same time, it was just me and God. And he taught me about his love for me, about how to fight my spiritual battles, the power of praise, the power of the word of God, the Bible. And instead of my faith diminishing, it just grew stronger. And when I eventually turned 18, I told my mum I was going back to church and she just accepted it because I was an adult. So, and it was really good to be back amongst my Christian friends and church family again. again. A few years later, my mum became a Christian and we've laughed about it all since. And the fact that that phase you spoke about has lasted nearly 40 years. But I never take for granted the fact that we have the freedom to meet with other believers, to spend time together, to praise and worship to God together and to learn about him together. And John the Baptist was put in prison for doing the right thing. And Jesus sent a message to reassure him that this message was producing results. And God showed me that if I kept being holy and kept being true, then he'll always come through for me. And I just want to encourage anyone who's going through a tough time that God is in it with you. He hasn't left you. He's right there with you and he'll help you. Anyway, thanks for listening. Have a good day.